Hey again, uh, wow, look at us. This was not a month since the last vlog. Uh, I'm, I'm getting better. I actually set a goal for myself to do one video every week for the month of September. And I think I uploaded my first video a little too late, but from this point on, one week, that is the goal. Another goal that I set for myself uh, in my first vlog was that I would sign up for driving classes, which I did. And I have done my third one today and I'm doing my last one tomorrow. So, getting stuff done. And a third goal, it's more of like a promise that I guess I made to myself, is if I really like vlogging, if I get through three videos and decide that this is something that I wanna keep doing, I would invest in a camera for vlogging. Uh, Cause right now I'm lugging around a DSLR camera, which is super bulky and I don't feel comfortable walking around in the streets with it. It also, like, it's got a mic. It's a big thing. I just want to get a nice camera that I can put in my pocket. I don't really know what's going on today, uh, but it's Saturday and uh, I know I'm going to see my sister, who I haven't seen in, like, over a year, and my dog. Just like, wow, it's going to be such a good time today. Uh, and some friends who I don't think you guys have met, so I'm looking forward to laying down that introduction. Hey, I'm joined by my favorite sibling. Ah, see, it's funny what your viewers Blue. are not know. Oh, wow, wow. My dog. Wow. <laughs> I'm with my sister. Five seconds to say who you are. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I'm Lizzie, I'm a creative producer and a filmmaker and Drake's number one six fan. Yes, that was such a good, ah. Uh. <laughs> Here's my question to you. All right. Is who do you think between us would win in a fight. Is the funnier sibling. Not would win in a fight. That that changed when we were seven years old because you used to be able to beat me up. I know. And then I just started kicking. The day I realized you could And then it was back. like, all right, verbal <laughs> assault. And then I got really good at like destroying you. Oh, with words. you <laughs> could tear a person apart. Who's the funnier sibling? Yeah, who do you think between you and me is funnier? He learned all his shit from me. That okay. Mean I'm not Listen, maybe I learned how to like that. belittle people from you. <laughs> and we're going. It's a horrible day, but nothing can stop our rays of sunshine. I don't know what that means. Hey, Chris. Oh, it's hey, okay. this is Chris. What's up, guys? Say something about yourself. Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm He's Italian. Let's go. Italian. So we just got done eating, and now I think we're going to some bar that Chris is working at. Yeah, I'm Curtis, by the way. Oh my God, <laughs> I felt so bad. I didn't introduce Curtis. <laughs> You guys should already know Curtis though, because Curtis, we just did a video. But yeah, the man needs me. no introduction. That's why. Smooth. Thanks, man. <laughs> We're driving to Chris's bar right now. Yeah. He owns the bar. <laughs> oh shit. It's his bar. Uh. We're, we're, we're on our way downtown. We got some time. I think now would be the best time to really like just share some stories. I think we should talk about and each take a turn telling a story of like the worst or most awkward rejection you've ever got. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass the torch first uh, to Curtis. Great. Okay. Grade seven. Grade seven, okay. Um, and there was this girl, her name was Julia. So like, there was like me, some other friends who were like in couples, they were like going to the movies, and I was going, and this Julia girl was going as well. So I was like, this is perfect. I can be like, hey, do you wanna go as like, a date. Uh, she was like, okay, sure. And the next day I was super nice, like being like the coolest dude. During lunch, she like didn't have a chair. So I was like, here you go, just have mine. You know? Smooth. Like, smooth. Dang, Curtis got wheels. At the end of the day, her friend came up to me and was like, hey Curtis, Julia wanted me to tell you that like you're a really nice guy, but she doesn't want tonight to be a date. That's savage. Oh, I was just the it. friend did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So then, did you still go? I still went. Oh, I still went. I had to sit through some god-awful Sandra Bullock movie. I mean, like, it's grade seven, whatever. Yeah. But, like, at the time, it was like, well, this is the worst thing that's ever gonna happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. to this day, it is still the worst <laughs> thing. I've lived a pretty good life. It has gone straight uphill from there. All right, Chris, you're in the hot seat. Okay, so, grade eight. I was also a fat Italian kid, which is great. Um, <laughs> now you're so, none of those things. Yeah, one up. He denounced his Italianism. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. This one time at band camp, I'm not kidding. There was this, uh, there was this girl named uh, Camille. Two or three of her friends totally knew that I had a thing for her. One of the friends I found out later decided to play a prank on me. Her friend Laura told me that Camille also had a crush on me at the time, Ooh. which is like raises your hopes up and everything, yeah, right? So basically I went up to ask her for a dance and I went up to go dance with her and they asked her like, hey, so like your friend Laura said, you know, you're like kind of into me, which is like all the wrong things to say. I was like, so you want to dance with me? And she just gave me this look 
and was like, who are you? Uh, and I was just like, oh, oh, oh never mind. That's just, so cool. I just crinkled and walked away. You oh. crinkled. Yeah. I think I can top that. Oh, yeah? I told this story actually once, but it was an old video. It was like two years ago, maybe. It was in what middle a, school. What a, what a time. There was a girl in my class who had a butt mitzvah. And it means, I, I think when you're 13 or 12 or whatever, you throw a party and she invited the whole class. So it was like this big dance, and she had one girl that was there that wasn't in our class. There was this girl named Elaine. I built up the nerve, seeing her across the room, to go talk to her. I just went up to her. My heart was racing, and I asked her to dance. She said yes. Oh, wicked! And we danced to like... What's that song in Shrek? Somebody once told me. And then like a slow dance and she put like, her hands on my shoulders and I put my hands on her shoulders because I've never, I didn't know <laughs> oh, to put yeah. them on her hips. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. After we danced and everything, party was kind of coming down and I was like, I need to ask for her number. Like, I feel like I'm in love with this girl. I need to get her digits. I go up to her again, heart racing, and she gives me her number. I wrote it on like a napkin. I just remember I was sitting around for a few days just looking at it. And then I get up the nerve to call her. And she's like down to meet up and we're just gonna like go for like a walk. So we meet up and we're walking around and she's like, yes, yeah, so like my friends think this is a date. She was like, yeah, but like it's totally not. And I was like, oh, yeah, so. Who's ready to go to a bar? Yeah, let's go! All <laughs> let's, right. uh, Woo! We're gonna have some depressing drinks. Curtis wanted to get coffee, and Chris felt weird with us coming in. He's embarrassed by us. Classic. I don't think I actually explained what he's doing, but he's like playing at that bar. Yeah, we're just gonna walk around the block while Chris uh, explains why people are gonna walk in with a camera. <laughs> so, we got Curtis tea. Try to watch a little snack. Question. Yep. Would you rather live the rest of your life? You could only have one thing, like either tea or coffee or alcohol of any sort. You need to choose. That's actually really hard. That's a good question, <laughs> right? Because it's like one thing's for fun and the other thing's for like... Just to be alive. Yeah, just to exist. <laughs> I think for that reason, just how we said it, tea and coffee, because yeah. I would get things done. I mean, there's definitely ways to have fun without it, but at the same time, it's like, especially being like in your 20s. Yeah. Being like... Everybody just drinks all the time. It's There's crazy. other ways to wake up though. You don't need coffee and tea. Like yeah. you could just like a good book. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like not drink alcohol for a while, and it was like terrible. Yeah, it sucked. You could just get into hard drugs. But, like, yeah, I, I think I'd do no coffee then. Wow. Actually, yeah, because like I, in terms of just like hanging out with people. Yeah. I guess. I'm gonna pass the question on to you guys as well. What would you rather do? No alcohol, in any sort, or no coffee or tea? Let me know in the comments below. Sorry, because that's the hardest question you'll ever answer. Considering this whole talk, I feel like we're not actually swearing off at either or. Oh, right, yeah. So let's go take a shot. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, it's 1 a.m. Just got back. I gotta be up early tomorrow for driver's ed, so couldn't be as late as I'd like. But, uh, if you want to see kind of like a behind the scenes slash... Uh, this in real time, you should add me on Snapchat. It's Andrew Quo. There'll be a link in the description. So do that if you'd like. And uh, yeah, you know, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you've liked these vlogs. I'm still trying to get better at them, but I'm having fun. And that's what matters. All right, I'm gonna go to bed, but uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.